Hello friends, I'm Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live. I normally go on at 7, sorry, at 11 o'clock. No, when do I go on? 1 o'clock. I normally go on 1 o'clock on Tuesdays, but today I'm doing it at 7 p.m. Today was a little crazy and I thought I would have more time to get ready to share a really fun project with you. So I'll just wait for a few people to jump on and then I'll put the camera down. So I just wanted to thank, first of all, all my friends who watch me, who stamp with me, my amazing team of stampers. We had on stage on, Stampin' Up! had on stage on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I couldn't believe it, but I was actually number four overall in Canada, which is a huge shock to me because I just love stamping and um, I do it mainly just to hang out with my friends. So that was a big surprise and such an honor. And I see Leona's jumping on and Margaret Ann's jumping on. So if you're here, make sure you say hi. Hello, Kathy. How are you guys? Now I'm going to try something. So I'm going to try put this down and hopefully I don't go vertical. If I'm going vertical, I'm stopping the video. Oh, and I see Bilkis is here. Hello, how's it going? And Sharon's here. Okay, so I'm going to get you to close your eyes while I flip the camera. And I see Joanne's here. Hello, you saw my huge mess behind me. I actually went and got a desk behind me from Ikea because I thought, ooh, that'll be a great, you know, place to prep everything. And guess what I have on it? Did anybody see my quick, uh, my quick little flash that I did? scrapbooking card kits and candy 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 tons of candy i've got to really uh, have vegetables on my back desk there but anyway welcome tonight everybody um i'll just go through this super fast so if you like any of the things i'm sharing with you today you can go to kreenachin.stampinup.net and this is the current hostess code nszdad4h because we have a really fun sale going on right now Oh, and I see Nicole's here. Hello. Welcome, welcome to my Facebook Live. Let me just show you the card. Hold on. This is the cool card we're going to make. We're doing a stamp and smoosh technique. But before I do, I want to mention the sale quickly because when I, you know, sent out my email this morning, I thought, ah, you know, what is it? 10% off of paper, 15% off inks, and 20% off dyes. Does that sound right? Or is it reversed? Somebody can tell me if I've got it backwards. But then as I started looking, I'm like, wait a minute, this is actually huge because all the card stocks are on special. So I already placed an order for myself and now I gotta do a second one. Hello, Marty, how are you today? Because 12 by 12 paper's on sale. So I've started scrapbooking this year. I have a class that runs on the first, uh, first, Monday of every month. So I need to buy 12 by 12 paper. Um, I'm not sure if shimmery white paper is on here, but uh, we're going to do a test tonight between basic white and shimmery white for the stamp and smoosh technique. And then we'll see what works better. I noticed that all the 12 by 12 card stock is on sale because um, normally it's $17.25 and it's um, on sale right now for $15.52. So that really adds up. And these are Canadian prices because I know I have some U.S. friends who watch as well and you guys have a way better deal because we always got to pay more living way up north and then but the most i think the most exciting thing is well hold on this is exciting who needs who needs ink pads because look it's 1025 down to 871 like that's a really good deal so i needed to buy another real red ink pad so i had to buy that today and it's a good time to switch over your ink pads if you haven't got the new ones. And before I say that, I just wanna mention that you can get the starter kit and you can double dip. So someone asked me today, you know, what does that mean exactly? Well, it means if you get the starter kit right now for $100, you get to order $165 in product. You can add some of these sale things into your order because you choose whatever you want. You could get $165 of ink if you want and there's no shipping or GST. So that is super fun. So it's a huge, huge deal. And then, you know, if you go over 165, say you've got, I don't know, 300 you want to spend, then you go in and put in your second order and uh, you get to save 20% on that plus this discount. So that's why it's a huge sale. It goes from November 16th to 18th. 
And I am excited about the paper and the ink pads, but if you've seen any of my stuff, I love the dies. In fact, if anybody does not have a die cutting machine, put it on your Christmas wish list, get your significant other to contact me and we'll get it wrapped in under the tree for you. And of course there's the regular, uh, we call it the big boss or the baby boss. And this one would actually be, I think it's like $164.95. So you could get it in the starter kit. Like it is a smoking deal right now because the starter kit's normally $135. So that's even a really good price. Okay, now where was I going with this? Let me just show you some things really quickly. I won't go through all the catalog items, but these are my, these are Karina's top picks. I should probably make a slide with it. Okay, this is what I highly recommend. Layering diorama dies, regular $39 on sale for 20% off. The basic border dies, which I use all the time, also 20% off. The Give It A Whirl dies, also on sale right now. And here's a card, look at this card we made. This is the Give It A Whirl dies. So it doesn't really necessarily coordinate with the stamp set, there's so many that you could get. Hello Kim, how are you? There's so, so many. But you know, I would pick it up right now, it's 20% off and it's normally $53. So what's 20% off of $53? Do I have any smarty, smarty pants in the group? I would have to grab my calculator. I am an ex-banker, but I used a calculator all the time. Well, this gives you an idea. Stitch Star Dies, $52. Discounted to $41.60. So this is $53, so my guess is $40, $57. How's that for a guess? That's pretty close. Also the, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. You could get the Love You More Than dies right now because I have been running a special CNC card class. Uh, the next one's December 4th. You can just make the cards if you want. It's four cards. We just have a lot of fun. But we use the Nothing Better Than stamp set every single time, every single class, just because it's super fun. And now the dies are on sale. So I think I need a second set just because I've been die cutting so much. Oh, and then also picture this. Now I did order this for someone today. It's on back order right now, I believe November 22nd, but I'm guessing something was back ordered. I think it's this. These are, I love these. These are so good. And then, oh, I wonder if this Stitch Greenery would be on sale. I just made a card the other day with this and I loved it. It was super cool because this inspired me. So I have my friend Anne who lives in New Brunswick and she sends me the most beautiful cards. So thank you for this, Anne. Um, now she did hand paper piercing. Like, I don't know how many hours this took her. Seriously, there's layers. So all my Anne cards go in a special place. But I'm lazy. I'm a lazy stamper. So if you got the stitched greenery, it would do something similar without the without hours of work. And I probably should, I'll try to post that card actually on the Facebook page when I find it because it was super cute and I was really happy with it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did with that. My stuff all got messed up with on stage because I had to clean my desk. Anyway, so that one's on sale. And also my other favorite is tailored made tags. I think you guys have seen, I've been using that so much because my next card class, see here's tailor made tags. It's gonna be the tidings and trimmings stamp set. So it's a virtual card class. So if you wanna participate, I can mail you a kit anywhere in Canada. It's the last Saturday of the month. And this is the technique card. See my little notes are on the back. So it's kind of a, I don't know, a, an explosion card but it looks really cool. And then you write your sentiment on the back. So I thought that would be kind of fun for the girls. And then this is the technique card that we're gonna do. So it's always a three card class, free with an order. And, uh, but again, the dies, oh no, yes, the dies are on sale for this as well. So you could just get the dies if you want, if you already have a stocking, you know, stamp from previous years, because the stockings are not new to Stampin' Up. We have had them before. So I just wanted to mention that. And then I've got a couple other dies that I'll just show you quick. Like, look at this cool card. This was another virtual card class. Uh, I believe using, I don't know what the mountain dies are called, but you know, it was just kind of a hidden message card. Just kind of fun. This one is the birds. Anybody know what the birds are card this called? This was a swap card that I did, but I love this die. That's why I bought it. And I do like birds. 
This one's pretty. I think these dies are on sale too. No clue what it is. This one, hmm, I'm not doing a very good, good job tonight with uh, my names, you guys. I have to actually look through this. Let me just show you. This dies on sale. The plant dies are on sale. There is the uh, nothing better than dies are on sale. Ooh, simply succulent dies. Even if you don't like the stamp set, look at the cool die. Like that is super fun, right? This, oh yeah, that was my technique card. I forget what we did. We colored on the back of vellum and we embossed on it. And this is that wonderful gold and rose gold paper that we have that's in the annual catalog. And here's the mountain dies again. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, so I love mountains. Anything with mountains, trees, bush, I am all over that. And I love living here except for today. We have a massive snowstorm today. You should have seen the snow. I hurt my back actually because I had to shovel my back deck because I'm puppy sitting right now. I have my or Monty and Benji right now. Monty's mini schnauzer and Benji is a shih tzu. And they're super cute, but the poor little Shih Tzu couldn't even go outside, so I had to do shoveling. I'm really out of shape, so i got to get back to the gym. Okay, so that's kind of my spiel on the dies. It's a good deal. It goes from November 16th to 18th. If you need help with anything, just shoot me a message. I'm happy to help you. And then let me show you an on-stage make and takes. I know I put a picture of this on my KarinaStamps.com blog, but look how fun these are. Isn't that pretty? And it's a new set. It's a new stamp set called Blessings of Home. And then with your demo number, everybody can order this on December 1st. And of course, we got to do a product purchase premiere. And any guesses? Do you think I expedited my order? Yes or no? I did. I did expedite it. So I'm going to have a whole box of goodness coming. And then this was another stamp set that we got. Well, I think I bought this one or was it part of my kit? I can't even remember now. But look at the super cute cards it makes, right? Isn't that beautiful? Um, because I love wine, I love chocolate. So here's me getting ready to stamp uh, with a wine glass in my hand, right? Because life is good when you've got some little happiness. And then uh, the ribbon is part of the suite and the classic matte dots are part of the suite. There's stamps and dies. And then check out this paper. Isn't this pretty? I really like the colors in this suite. And I like bees. I think the bees are super cute. So, you know, I had to cut out a little bee. Anyway, so on stage was really fun. It's going to be in person apparently next year. Um, in November of next year. And they'll have some on stage locals as well. Or no, it might be in Austria or something. You know what? I'm not 100% sure. Don't hold me to that. I just know that it is coming. It'll be fun. Okay, now was there anything else I wanted to talk about or should we just get stamping? Who wants to join me? If you want to join me and actually stamp with me, what you need to do is go grab yourself a stamp and spritzer or a bottle of water. Okay, let's put this here. Um, we also need either a piece of Whisper White cardstock or I'm going to try Shimmer White and then we're going to do a comparison. We'll do both of them. This is Basic White. Sorry, I keep saying Whisper White. Basic White and Shimmer White. And it's kind of hard to see. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but it's a thicker cardstock. So I'm going to see if it holds the water a little bit better. And the stamps that I'm using for this, I don't believe it's on sale because it's in the mini catalog. I just thought it was super cool. It's called the Words of Cheer Bundle. And I just love the cards in here. And then this is a card we made last night, right, at our Monday card class. So our Monday card class, Monday night card class, it's virtual. So anybody can join in. Uh, we made this card... I can't even remember what we made last night. Oh, a hidden message card. That was super cool, right? But I don't think I have it handy. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, ready for this? This is a hidden message card. Oh, hidden message. I haven't written anything in mine yet, but isn't that fun? So that was kind of the fancy fold. This was another card we made. And then we had, oh, yeah, this one. Look at this one, right? Pretty. So fun, so fun. Isn't that cute? 
and then it's a gift card holder. So that's what we made last night. And then there was a fourth card. Can't remember what we did, but it was cute. It was cute. And if anybody is interested in the Eden's Garden class, that is coming up next Thursday. So I got to cut the kits for that ASAP. But the cards are just cute. Oh, this was a fourth card that we made last night. And uh, so the Eden's Garden class is coming up. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I love this die, how you can put the two sides together to cut this label piece. I think that is really pretty. And the stamp set and dies will roll over. It's just the paper that won't and the embellishments that won't. Okay, so I see Claudine's here too. Hello, Claudine. Thanks for joining me tonight. Like I said, this isn't, I'm usually a daytime person because I'm organized and have lots of time. And then my day, it just didn't work out that way today. Okay, so you want to get yourself a piece of paper, three and a half inches by three and a half inches, a spritzer, and a giant block, or you want to cover this area with something. Let's just see if I can reach over. Oh my, this is so messy. You know what? We'll just go like this. We'll try to reduce the mess this time. Okay, am I in the camera? Let's get in the camera. Okay, so I am using this as kind of an ink surface. I'm using this as a giant block. And I made this card already, so let's try do it in polished pink and fresh freesia. And I have one done just in case this uh, turns into a giant disaster and doesn't work for me. But what you're going to do is just put some ink on the plate of the Stamparatus like that. I can tell these are still very juicy, right? It makes like a perfect little palette. So fresh freesia and polished pink. And then what I'm going to do is wet it with my spritzer. And if you're wondering where I got this technique from, they actually showed it at on stage and I haven't done it for a long time. So I thought, you know what, that's awesome. Now you could also do the technique on here. It doesn't have to be on a Stamparatus, but you know, I have the Stamparatus, so why not? So let's just wet this. You do want it to be fairly wet. And this is where the pink kind of splattered. So I'm just gonna get this like this and just do a little wipe because otherwise I'm gonna set my basic white cardstock in, see the pink, and then I'll have a giant mess on my hand. Okay, so we got that done. And I'm gonna do both of them and we can decide which one we like better. So I know for sure that this white will work. Oh, wait a second, you guys. Let's stop for a second. I can't put this in yet. Let's do some embossing. Hold on a second. Step one, let's emboss our cardstock. So I'm using Versamark ink and Whisper White. And don't worry about this because it's just water. It's gonna stay wet. And let me see where my Versamark pad went. I just tucked it up here so I wouldn't lose it. And we're just gonna ink it up. I love how this image stamps. I think it's really pretty. Now, did I just do it in the middle? Yeah, let's just do it in the middle. It really doesn't matter, right? The cards don't have to match. They can be a little different each time. But I really want to see how the shimmery white cardstock works. Okay, and then you're going to emboss it with white embossing powder. And if you've never used Versamark ink before, it's just, it's a clear sticky ink. So you can kind of see, I don't know if you can maybe see the image on here. But when you pour the white embossing powder over top of the image I stamped, see, there it is. And then we have to melt the powder. So if you are a new stamper, this is embossing is like the best. It's a huge wow. It's like magic. When I used to do stamp camps at some of the local schools for the kids and they got to emboss, they just thought that was so exciting. So exciting. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my heat tool and I need a clipboard because I always burn my fingers. So did I put my clipboard away? Let me just get another one. You know, I've got three just in case. It's probably right in front of my nose. Okay, so here's my backup clipboard. So run to the dollar store, get yourself a clipboard. 
and then we'll just clip it on here and then you don't burn your fingers. Okay, and then you're gonna heat up your gun so it'll be noisy for a second. And we'll just melt the powder. Takes a second to get going. There we go. So is anybody doing this along with me? Super fun. Okay, it's almost done. You know what, I'll do this one too, just to show you. Here we go. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then we're gonna do a comparison, because like I said, I'm really curious to see which paper Rain Supreme. Anybody used to watch that Iron Chef show? That's what they used to say all the time. Okay, now I have my two papers. Yep, I have done it. I just had to touch it to see if I melted all the powder. Okay, let's put it in here and see what happens. If it doesn't work, well, that's fine. You know, it's just cardstock. You just cut more and you do it again. And I always tell people you can never mess it up. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, now I want to fill that in a little bit more. Maybe because I let it sit. Well, this is pretty cool. I want this bottom part to be fresh freesia. Let's get that middle part here. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And then just make sure that you fill in all the space. And if you want to, this is what I did, because you know, I don't really like that part. So let's just spritz and watch this. You're just gonna pick it up with your paintbrush, your old paintbrush. And then I'm just gonna go over it and fill it in just so it looks pretty. See, there we go. Isn't that just beautiful though? Okay, and then we can let it dry. And I'm already deciding I like this, um, I like the shimmer white better. And I'll show you why. So we'll just do it again with the other, well, I guess I'll still do the same color just to show you guys. The colors I did earlier on my other card was Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. I'd actually like to do this in like pool party pool party with fresh freesia. There's so many different color combinations you can do. And I'll kind of tell you why I like this. Shimmery white is a little bit thicker than the basic white. But let's just put this down. And this is fun if you love getting inky fingers. And everybody should try this tonight just because it's super fun. And do a crazy color combination. I was going to do orange, but I wasn't sure if orange really went with my kind of point set of background. And again, see the, it's kind of peeling up a little bit. Shimmery white for sure works a little better, but you know what? If you don't have it, just pull out your basic white. It's a bit thinner and then we have to dry it. And I'm just filling in the little spots I missed and you don't have to, but I don't want to add any more water because this paper is pretty thin. And we'll just color the bottom. And then if you want to add some more color, then you can. Right? Which one do you like better? They're pretty much the same, right? Now what I'm going to do is just wipe this away because I know I'll set my whole card in here and then I'll have a giant mess on my hands. Okay, we'll just set this aside. And then what you need to do is just give it a quick blow dry. So I need my clipboard again. that I put away, so let's grab it back. And then I'm just gonna dry this really fast. Or you know what, I don't need to dry it because this one's done. Never mind, I'm not gonna dry it. You can either set it aside to let it dry or you can, I just took a heat tool to it. Okay, we don't need that one because I'm already done. And then I'll show you how this card goes together. Because when I bought this set, I thought, you know, the stamp sets are nice. It's got lots of great holiday sentiments. It's got season's greetings, wishing you a joyful Christmas, happy. So I think this could actually be a happy birthday card if I emboss balloons instead of the poinsettia. 
but check out the dies in this set. So this is kind of why I bought it because the happy will layer onto a background and then there's also cheer, which is kind of fun too. So cheer could be congratulations, I think. And then it's got some, you know, these could be stars or they can be flowers. I think if you stack them up. So it's just got a lot of different things that you can do with the dies. Okay, so let me pull out my kit because I've already pre-done a little bit of this. And this is how it embosses. Isn't that pretty? So I did it in the black. So I could just put the black on the card and be done with it. But I also decided to cut out the white. I thought that was super pretty. And I was just going to show that other card, but... Uh from last night. That's probably on my desk, right? It'll show up when I'm not looking for it. So I like to use the green glue. We'll just call it green glue because if I just put teeny little dots on here, you don't need much. It's pretty sticky and it does spread, you know, when you push it down, it's going to smoosh. Let's just put it on here. Actually, you know what? You guys, I should be using this. How many people have the silicone mat? Because if I get adhesive on the mat, it, I just pull it off. So I usually have this in close proximity to my gluing uh, that I do. And then I decided I liked this on a white mat. Now this is the basic white cardstock. So it does work as well. You don't have to go and buy shimmer white. I thought it was interesting that most of the cards that we did for the make and takes with Stampin' Up and On Stage were all done with shimmery white. And I hadn't used it for a while. That's why I thought, well, let's just play with it a little bit. Okay, now I probably should have trimmed this a little bit, but uh, that's okay. It'll still work for my card. This side's a little bit bigger than this side, but I think it'll still look pretty good. Okay, and what card base do you, should I use? Fresh Freesia or Polished Pink? What do you guys think? Anybody have an opinion? Let's see what it looks like. This is Polished Pink with the black. Oh, see, that looks not bad. And then this is the Freesia. Oh, I honestly can't decide. It's a good thing that I did two more on the side. Okay, I think I'm going to, right now, we're going to go with the Freesia. So let's just put that down. And then Stampin' Up! has this really nice black and white gingham ribbon. So we'll just put that on here. There we go. And if anybody does mini albums, I finally uploaded my peppermint and or gingerbread and peppermint mini album tutorial, which is on my greenestdance.com blog. Um, it took me a while to figure out. I was kind of afraid to use WooCommerce, but I learned how to do it. So I was pretty proud of that. After many, many years, I finally get a new blog. So I was very happy with the design. Love it. Okay, now that's cute, but it's missing something here. So I took, where is my little stamps? The stamped image has these kind of leaves, so I'm just gonna stamp it along the side. And whenever you're stamping, you gotta open up your card so it doesn't wiggle around. And I need to get it off of this paper because I need a nice flat stamping surface and I'm just doing tone on tone so fresh freesia on fresh freesia cardstock yeah Margaret Ann do you love your silicone mat me too I love it I actually can't well I can stamp without it but why would I want to do that why would I want to do that okay so that just creates a little bit of a background and then I'm just going to pop this up isn't this a different color combination for a Christmas card I have to make all my Christmas cards right away. I'm a little behind. Okay, let's do this. And then tomorrow I'm going out to a golf course to do a in-person class at a restaurant. Well, I guess not a restaurant, at the golf course. So that'll be super fun. But I have to now drive in this terrible weather. It's so bad outside. I would show you a picture if it wasn't so dark out there right now. 
Okay, what do you think? Is this coming along nicely? Let me get this out of the way for a second because that just does not look very nice. And I've got that on, do I need to straight? What's going on here? Oh, I have to take the backing off. Okay, and then I'm going to put my happy on here and I like to use these little edge pieces. And I just cut them just a little bit like so. And then I really hope you try this technique and if you do send me a picture because I would love to see what you make. So anybody who orders right now through the sale, if you order $40 or more, you will get the tidings and uh, trimming card kit in the mail. If you order more than $100, you will get an In Your Word stamp set. I've got a few of those left over. And then if those run out, there's a second option as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm doing a really bad job cutting this, but you know what? The card's so pretty, nobody's going to notice. So let's just put Happy Holidays here. And this is where I think I've got words that say birthday. So if I do balloons, it could be birthday balloons instead. Because I love it when I buy a stamp set or buy a die. And I can do something different than what it was originally intended. Okay, so let's put that right about here. I think I'm happy with that. Ooh, too sticky. And then I have some matte black dots. So we'll just add that to, let's get my little picker tool. Try that again. My picker tool. And we're going to just slide this off. We'll put one here. And then I want to get a different size. So let's get this little one. Well, that didn't work very well, but that's okay. Come here, little guy. I feel like I'm talking to my puppies now. Okay, there we go. So what do you think of this? You like it? You don't like it? Super cute, funky colors. And I think I'm going to redo it in some traditional colors as well. But that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. So I hope you enjoyed the Words of Cheer card made with the coordinating dies. It says happy holidays in two fun, playful colors. And um, if you like or share my video, that would be absolutely fantastic. That is such a great honor whenever you do that. And if you wanna take card classes or anything, just let me know. And then on my blog, you can actually subscribe to my newsletter and that's where I post all my classes. I just email everything out to everybody. So thanks ladies for joining me tonight. I hope you had a fun time. And uh, on YouTube, you can subscribe to YouTube as well. I'm at 9.15. Once I get to 1,000, I can do some YouTube lives for you girls. So I hope you have an amazing night. Bye.